In a heartfelt tribute to the United Kingdom's longest reigning monarch, plans for a lasting memorial to Queen Elizabeth II are set to be unveiled in 2026, coinciding with what would have marked her remarkable 100th birthday. The nation is invited to actively participate in shaping this poignant tribute, allowing the public to contribute their thoughts and ideas to this significant project. The esteemed task of chairing the Queen Elizabeth Memorial Committee has been entrusted to Robin Janverin a name closely associated with Her Majesty's legacy, having served as her private secretary. This committee will deliberate on the most fitting way to honor the late monarch, who passed away last September after an astounding 70-year reign. The Queen's final moments were spent in her cherished Balmoral, Scotland, where she annually enjoyed her summer respite. It was there, on September 8, that she departed this world at the age of 96, leaving behind a profound legacy of service and dedication. Robin Janverin and his committee colleagues will carefully consider the Queen's lifelong commitment to public service and her unwavering royal duties, in addition to the noble causes she championed throughout her reign. The outcome will be a comprehensive national legacy program, a tribute befitting her esteemed name. Reflecting on this daunting task, Mr. Janverin remarked, it will be a unique challenge to try to capture for future generations Her Late Majesty's extraordinary contribution to our national life throughout her very long reign. Before its implementation, these plans will undergo scrutiny by King Charles and the Prime Minister to ensure they are in harmony with the late Queen's spirit. This crucial step anticipates Queen Elizabeth's 100th birthday, slated for April 2026. What makes this memorial truly exceptional is the opportunity for the public to contribute their own visions and ideas. Whether it's a striking statue or a living memorial, such as a park or charitable endeavor. The concept of immortalizing monarchs in lasting memorials is not new to the United Kingdom. In 1955, Queen Elizabeth unveiled a statue of her beloved father, King George VI, on the mall outside Buckingham Palace to commemorate his life and reign. Moreover, grants were distributed to support youth and elderly organizations in the wake of King George's passing. In a parallel vein, a statue of the Queen's grandfather, George V, graces the vicinity opposite the Houses of Parliament. His memory is preserved through a memorial fund that funded over 500 parks, playing fields, recreational grounds, and green spaces across the UK. Deputy Prime Minister Oliver Dowden remarked, Queen Elizabeth II was our longest reigning monarch and greatest public servant. Lord Janverin will now begin the important work of designing a fitting tribute to her legacy of service to our nation and the Commonwealth. As the one-year anniversary of the Queen's passing approaches, the royal family is expected to commemorate the occasion privately. King Charles and Queen Camilla are likely to remain at Balmoral, the place of her peaceful departure, during their annual royal summer retreat. Meanwhile, Prince William and Princess Kate will resume their royal duties at St. David's Cathedral in Wales following their summer break.